In this lecture, we're going to take a simple example of Redux and understand how to work with it. So let me just create a simple file inside this Redux folder. Here I'm going to create a new file and I'm creating a counter example. So I'm going to name this component counter.js. To understand how Redux works, counter is the best example. So I'm going to simply create here a file counter.js and inside it, I'm going to create a class component. So I'm going to say here react class component. Don't worry, you can use Redux in the functional component as well. We'll look at that later in this course. So just for now, let's add this counter and let me just add this counter inside my main component. So let me just copy this counter and let me just add that here. Instead of this multiple context, I'm going to say here counter and I'm going to just specify here Redux counter. Let me just add here counter and save this file back to your counter and inside this division tag inside this JSX here I'm going to simply add h2 heading tag and say counter just out of this h2 here I'm going to add a division tag again and inside this div I'm going to add my button I'm going to name this button minus and inside this button I'm going to add on click event and just out of that inside this curly braces I'm going to add the handler function of it just down here I'm going to add the value of the counter. So inside the spawn tag here, I'm going to add the value of the counter. So I'm going to simply add here curly braces for now. And just down here, I'm going to add a button again and then specify plus here to add a value in a counter. So I'm going to add here on click event and pass curly braces. Now this is a simple JSX, right? I'm going to add two buttons here with on click events and I'm going to print the counter value inside this spawn tag. Now let me create a handler function for both these buttons. At the top, here, before this render method, I'm going to create handler function. So I'm going to say here, increment is equal to and pass an arrow function here. Just out of that, here I'm going to say console.log increment. I'm going to do the same. So I'm going to copy this function and specify here decrement like this. Let me copy this, paste it here to indicate this is the decrement method. Inside this on click, here I'm going to first call this dot decrement, this decrement handler function. And to this plus sign, I'm going to call here this dot increment. Now, just out of that, here inside this span, I'm going to create a property called count. So I'm going to say here this dot props dot count. I'm going to create here a property count and I'm going to specify value to this count using the Redux. Now let me save this file. Here you can notice I'm going to have here minus and plus button. When I click on it, I'm going to get increment and decrement console message. Now just out of that, let me first create a reducer because reducer performs most of the work. So inside this Redux folder, I'm going to create a new file and name it reducer.js. And inside this reducer, I'm going to create a reducer function. To create a reducer function, as I said in the previous lecture, there is a syntax. So I'm going to start with the function keyword, then specify the name of the reducer. I'm going to say here reducer and then I'm going to specify a parenthesis. Inside this parenthesis, you have two parameters, state and action. And inside this reducer, you return a state. For now, I'm going to leave it as it is and let me first initialize this state. So at the top, here I'm going to create a constant variable and specify initial state is equal to and here I'm going to create count key with the value 0. So this is the initial value of my count variable. I'm going to pass that to this state. So I'm going to say here equal to sign and say initial state. So this is the initial value of your state. So as I said in the previous lecture, as a first parameter, we pass the initial state of the store and then as a second parameter, we are going to pass the action. The action we perform using button click, form submission and so on. Just for that, inside this function, here, I'm going to say if action dot type is equal to, in the double quote, in the capital letters, I'm going to say increment. If it is equal to increment, then I'm going to execute this if statement. Otherwise, I'm going to add here else if again. Most of the time, you have multiple actions. Using if statement here is not sensible. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use here switch case statement. Instead of if statement, I'm going to get rid of this if 
and here I'm going to call switch. I'm going to say here switch action dot type and inside this curly braces I'm going to add my first case inside this first case if the action is equal to increment then I'm going to return my state when we click on this button we're going to pass value to this type property don't worry about that inside this type we have the action type we're going to pass that when we click on the button for now just out of this first case I'm going to add my second case here just down here I'm going to add here case and inside this double quote I'm going to say decrement and specify here colon and specify here my second case I'm going to return here state now you can notice here I'm just returning the initial value of the state what I want when the action is equal to increment I want to increase the state value by one so right now as you can see here inside this state I have this count property let me just access it using dot count and I want to increase it by one I'm going to say here plus one so when the increment action happen I want to increase the state by one the opposite of this I'm going to minus one from the state when the decrease action happen so here I'm going to say state dot count minus one just out of that if nothing match I'm going to return the default value using the default case so I'm going to say here default return state I'm going to return the initial value this one now just out of that I'm going to use this function in my other files so let me just add here export default so I can use this function in my other files because when we create a store we need this function let me save this reducer and back to my index.js right here inside this index file I'm going to create a new store to create a store right here I'm going to say import in the curly braces I'm going to call a function create store from Redux as you know I already have this package in my project in the previous lecture we install this package using this create store I'm going to create a new store inside this application so just down here before this render method right here I'm going to create a store so I'm going to say here constant store is equal to create store when you pass parenthesis here you can notice you will have to pass reducer here as a parameter so as you know we have this reducer here inside this reducer.js file let me just pass that so just down here I'm gonna say import a reducer from in the single code dot forward slash in the redux file I have reducer let me just use this function reducer inside my main file and pass this reducer as a parameter to this create store create store need reducer as a first parameter now just after that as you know in the context API we created a wrapper for the app to pass value to the store we are going to do the same in the Redux what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply add here a provider so I'm going to say here import in the curly braces I'm going to say provider is equal to provider from and in the single code I'm going to say Redux react Redux as you know using npm command we already installed this package in this project so I'm not going to install it again so using this provider component I'm going to wrap this counter so instead of this browser router I'm going to pass this provider here like this and just out of that I'm going to pass here store like this I'm going to create a wrapper to this counter using this provider component and this provider component have a property store and to this store property we pass our redux store this one now let me save this file and now what I want when I click on this button to this decrease button I want to decrease the counter value by one and when I click on this increase button I want to add one inside my state to do that as you can see here I have here the handler function inside this handler function I'm going to call here a dispatch method for now let me just print this keyword back to the browser reload it let me just click on this counter you can notice here I have different properties to this counter component you can notice here I have context 
decrement and increment handler function property reference and state i want to first connect this component to the store to the redux store so i can access the store value to do that you need to call a connect function from the react redux so i'm going to just add here the import statement i'm going to say here import in the curly braces i'm going to say connect from in the single code i'm going to say react redux like this and just after that at the bottom here i'm going to simply say export default connect i'm going to pass here parenthesis and then i'm going to pass here parenthesis again because this is the higher order component connect is a higher order function which is a fancy way of saying it's return a function when you call it it's provide the connected component with a piece of data it needs from the store and the function it can use to dispatch action to the store the connect function has their own different parameters we will look at that later but just wanna just add here connect function to connect this component with the store so in the second parenthesis here i'm going to pass my component let me just specify here counter like this and i'm going to remove this default export from this class because i just exported here my counter component so i don't need to export it again otherwise i will get an error message let me save this file reload the browser and click on this add button when i click on it you can notice here inside this props i have here a method called dispatch using this dispatch method you can change the value of the store redux is going to change the store value only when you call the dispatch method dispatch method is going to take an action as a parameter let me use it to update the store value so inside this handler function here let me just command this and here i'm going to say this dot props as you can see i have these props here so just out of these props i'm going to say dot dispatch and i'm going to call here parenthesis and inside this parenthesis we need to pass an action so here i'm going to just pass here a simple object because as i said action is a simple javascript object so i'm going to see here object and say type and it is a type of increment i'm going to just copy this increment value this first case and pass that here so i'm going to pass here value to this type increment so when i call this increment this will call this dispatch method and this dispatch method is going to execute this first case because inside this action i'm going to have this increment type so this will just initialize this action with the type increment when i click on this increment handler function now just after that i'm going to do the same for this decrement as well let me copy it and specify that here and this time i'm not going to specify increment i'm going to specify here decrement when i click on this decrement function i'm going to execute this decrement action let me save this file reload the browser when i click on this button it will increase and decrease the value of the state but i'm not going to get any value inside this property because i'm going to have this state value inside this reducer i want to get this count value inside my counter component so just out of this component here i'm going to simply call function map state to props and i'm going to pass here parenthesis this function takes the first parameter which is state and using this state parameter we can connect the reducer state with the property of the component so i'm going to say here return statement and i'm going to return an object as you can see here i have here count property let me pass that here i'm going to say here count and as a value i'm going to pass this state dot count inside this state i'm going to have this reducer state value right so i'm going to get that value and pass that to this property and just after that you need to pass this function to this connect the map state to prop is used for selecting the part of data from the store that the connected component needs a store is supposed to contain the entire state of your application for large application this could contain dozen of properties nested many layer state it allows you to decouple your component and additional time which increase the modularity of your code and improves the application performance so i'm going to just copy this map state to props and pass that as a first parameter to this connect just like this you don't need to pass value to this state property because because the connect function will automatically pass the reducer state value to this function 
inside this handle function let me uncomment this console and when I click on this plus button you can notice here just down here inside my props I have here count property which is right now undefined when I click on this button I want to specify value to this count property so this function is going to create a property count and specify Redux value to it let me just first print this state I'm using console.log here I'm going to say state back to the component and reload it as you can see I'm going to have here count 0 when I click on this plus button you can notice this will just return 1 I want the result something like this count 0 so I can change my state value to do that inside my reducer as you can see here I'm just returning a simple value so instead of returning just a simple value I'm going to change the initial state of the count so here I'm going to call object and inside it I'm going to say count and to the value I'm going to say here state count plus one I'm going to do the same so I'm going to copy this statement paste it here and minus one decrease the value when the action is equal to decrease save this file now when I click on the plus button you can see it will return count one when I click on the plus button again it will return count two so I'm going to have what I want and you can notice here inside my component when I click on the plus button it's going to increase the value of the counter and when I click on the minus button it's going to minus the value of the counter let me remove this console message from here now as you can see my counter is completely ready so as you can see how to create a simple counter example of Redux next we're going to simplify this example and see how to work with action 